I'm trusting that this is going live. Yes, sweet. I almost, almost did it from my personal page then I was like, I'll just try it one more time. And it worked. Yay. All right, so I'll just share this. Thank you for joining me. Okay, awesome. Welcome. Got Facebook and Instagram happening here. Okay, cool. So, my name is Hannah, for those of you who don't know me. And if you, if this is the first time watching me live, please comment below and let me know. So I was asked to do a uh, three card reading today, especially for the collective. And I was like, yeah, sure. And I was like, well, actually, you know what? Everybody needs to hear this because the collective consciousness is you and me and everybody. And then I was like, okay, well, how deep do I want to take this? Because which collective am I doing a reading for? Because yes, there's kind of, you know, there's a collective consciousness, there's, you know, that everybody is tapped into. However, there's also so many different, um, I guess you could say levels of consciousness or um, I guess that's what it is. It is different levels of, I don't like using the word levels, uh, but you know, there's different realms that we can tap into, whether it's an uh, abundance or poverty or happiness or sadness, you know, like they're all just almost like taps that you can turn on and off that you could choose to connect to, right? So for the collective consciousness, I'm going to ask for the highest vibration of the collective consciousness to come through in this three card reading. So I tuned in and the magical messages from the fairies um, jumped out at me. So that's who is joining us. And I'm just going to flick this camera around. So that when I hold the cards up, you can see it. So the magical messages from the fairies by Doreen Virtue. I love these cards. These are beautiful. Right. So three card reading, especially for the collective. Now these three cards, there's a past, the present and the future when you're doing three card readings. So... A pass card for the collective. Here we go. Interesting. Walk away. So leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors. Enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Yeah. So we've got walk away. So this is the pass card. Yeah. So this is, hey, Narissa. Ah, oh, thanks. Beautiful. Um, so in this walk away, yay, Kristen. <laughs> so I'm feeling I'm going to pull all three cards out at once. So this is the collective reading. Very interesting. Oh, even more interesting. Okay. And even more interesting. All right. So this is the collective consciousness, right? So if I'm tapping into a reading specifically for the collective consciousness and what's going on, what's shifting, well, the bottom card, as you know, um, as myself as a reader, I always look at the bottom card of the deck of any reading I'm doing. That's just something that I do. Um, and it kind of, for me, gives an overall meaning um, to the entire reading. So this is New Korea. And the first thing that jumped out at me about this was these huge waves on either side of the card. And it's like, you know, if we think about what's changing and shifting collectively at the moment, is really, um, you know, it's like massive waves of change, right? Everybody's feeling it, um, you know, on a, you know, physical body, on a mental, emotional, spiritual body. Everybody's feeling it, yeah? These big waves of change that are coming in. Um, if you talk to anybody, right, 
everybody has been or knows of somebody who's been through intense massive changes it could be through loss or it could be through gain um, in the past you know three to five years especially they've just been through huge stuff yeah so with this new career it just feels like you know it says your work focus is shifting in a positive new and successful direction now I'll come back to that in a minute because in the past card like I said is walk away so with these big changes we've walked away from unhealthy situations for things that no longer work anymore and it's like you know the the message that I'm getting is like the shedding of the consciousness yeah the shedding of the old consciousness as we step into this new uh, I don't I don't know if it's new consciousness I don't know if that's the right word for it but it's a more it's a more aware consciousness it's a more awakened consciousness yeah so this you know like walk away leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors as a result it just feels like the shedding of the consciousness yeah and then when i look at the current card right so the three card reading for the collective in the right now is the vegetarian card so very quite interesting yeah uh there's been a lot of people that have um changed their diet just recently but also in the past you know several years especially and when we talk about the collective consciousness and when i talk about these waves of change that have come up um, for you know like the collective it's like these massive waves of change are really coming in this whole um, you know vegetarian it's like as our consciousness is shifting as we're shedding you know the old consciousness from our body mind spirit well then we're naturally shifting and evolving and if we're if we're moving and shifting from 3d consciousness into 5d consciousness right then our physical body needs to adjust and catch up to that. So if you haven't already, you've probably been getting the messages to change your diet, whether that's moving from processed foods to whole foods or being more conscious of the labels of what you're eating or, uh, you know, stopping eating meat or dairy or, you know, going vegan, raw vegan, you know, you it's... It, you would have been getting some sort of intuitive thing like yeah okay it's time and what this is doing is it's what I'm about to say here is twofold yeah because when we ingest meat especially we're ingesting the pain the energy and the pain of the animal that has been killed yes now the second part of that is that yes we have the power and the consciousness to change the vibration of the food we eat so i don't want you to go freaking out going oh my god i'm eating this pain right because if you you know everybody every physical body is different so you need to trust right key knows key most important thing is trust what your intuition is telling you about food and diet because as you know the buddha drank the poison and wasn't affected by it so you know with our food and our food choices and the vegetarian card coming up that you know if you feel that you need to eat meat or you're paleo or you know you need to trust yourself on that yeah because you do have the power to change your the energy of your food if you haven't watched dr moto's work or read his books or followed his work go and google that it's amazing how our thoughts can affect the water mole molecules therefore we affect everything because we are all just atomic uh, energy made we're all just made up of atoms yeah so there's no real space there's no real you know differentiation here so what I'm saying is that you know be guided by what you're being called to do for your body with the vegetarian card so when we look at the three card reading for the collective consciousness as what I'm doing for this reading right now the walk away is the shedding of the collective consciousness we're shifting into a new vibration shifting into a higher vibration i guess you could say and the physical body needs to catch up yeah so when we stop eating meat right and i'm not saying that this is what you need to do i'm saying that you need to listen to your body and what you're being called to do that when you stop eating meat we stop ingesting the pain of the animal now as i i, I sound like i'm repeating myself stay with me for a second so when we can stop eating meat we stop ingesting the pain of the animal and therefore we're not processing the animals energy and pain as well as everything that we're personally going through as well as everything that we're feeling from everyone else energetically let alone you know like the, the foods we're eating too so with this vegetarian card it gives your body your physical body a chance to 
to rest, a chance to catch up to the higher vibration because uh, if you're, oh hey, there's lots of people joining me from Instagram too, welcome. Um, there's, you know, it gives your body that chance to rest and to allow yourself to adjust and lift to that higher level, yeah? So it's funny, this three card reading for the collective consciousness, um, no surprising, <laughs> no surprising, no surprise, uh, I, I'm amazed that this card's come up and love it. Healing, healed, healer. Healing energy surrounds you and this situation right now. Yeah. So to have this as the future card for, you know, the three card collective. So we've got walk away, vegetarian and healing, healed, healer. So like I said, it's like the shedding of the old consciousness. We're raising our vibrations through foods, through even just being more conscious about what we're eating, ingesting, what we're putting on our body, but not only that, but having the consciousness and awareness that we have the power to change our thought process around our food, that we have the power to pray over our food or, and I say pray, you know, a simple prayer that I do um, is just simply, I bless this food with love and I thank you for giving it your life to nourish us. Namaste. That's what I say. That's what my daughter and I, that's our grace that we say when we eat our food. And it, it just literally changes the food. I mean, you could always put hands over it. You could pray. Like you could send energy, color energy through your hands to the food as well. And the other thing I wanted to just share there is with, you know, like um, say if you're going to a restaurant, I'm feeling cold to say this. So say if you go out to dinner for a restaurant and you're you know, enjoying yourself and then you kind of somehow seem to, I don't know, you walk to the toilets and you walk past the kitchen and you see that the chefs are having a massive fight or they're angry or something, right? That energy is going into the food. So you might be having a beautiful time and then you eat this lovely food and then you go home and you're like starting to feel shit or angry or whatever, right? And that's you ingesting the energy. So that's just like a tiny little example that, you know, not only say if you had meat, you would be processing the animal, um, you know, food as well, right? The animal energy of the animal being slaughtered and killed and that fear that goes along with that. But you've also ingested the, the energy from the chef who has prepared it. Now, when... I we say grace at, at my table it's like we bless this food with love we thank it for giving its life to nourish us namaste now I haven't been eating meat for about six weeks now I was guided to go raw vegan and I've done that oh no it's exactly a month two days ago <laughs> so with that it's like you know when we were eating meat I would be conscious and we'd sit there and just say, we bless this food with love, we thank it for giving its life to nourish us, and if it was a cow or a lamb or sheep, we'd say, thank you lamb for giving your life to nourish us, and thank the farmer who cared for you and, you know, raised you, and then go back so far to the, the mother who raised the lamb or gave birth to the lamb. You know, like just consciously following that trail to have an energy awareness, and that not only changes the energy and vibration of the food because you're concentrating your energy on your gratitude. However, it also, it also strengthens your intuition, your training and exercising your psychic muscles and awareness. Yeah. And it helps you to trust in your intuition because you're you're physically, you know, physically, well you are, you're tuning into the food that's on your plate, where it's come from, the farm that came from, the truck that transported it, the truck driver, you know, like you can tune into all of that, yeah? So not only by eating vegetarian or vegan, or like I said, following what your intuition is calling you to do about the food that you're eating, but it's making us conscious, yeah? This is next level conscious awareness of what we're ingesting, of what we're preparing, of the energy around us, of what we're feeling in our body. Was it from our food? Was it from the next door neighbors? Was it from um, someone who you're in contact with that you don't see but you have contact with them regularly and energetically there's you know you feel that with each other so this right if we look at this three card reading for the collective consciousness we're shedding that old consciousness yeah the walk away card is that shedding of the old collective consciousness the vegetarian is becoming more conscious of ourselves right now in our 
physical body, in our emotional body, in our spiritual body, in our mental body, in what we're doing and preparing and being around and, and having that sense of consciousness. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a next level consciousness. And this Healing Healed Healer card for the Future Outcome card is that the healers are stepping up. The healers are putting themselves out there. You know, we're in 2017, almost ready to step in 2018. This is the 20th century and we have the technology to reach people at a very fast pace, yeah? Like some natural disaster happens in the world and everybody hears about it like that because we've all got phones and, and Wi-Fi and internet connection and can be a blessing and a curse, right? However, when we have this, it's like the, the healers and the, the light workers, the consciousness is stepping up. Yes? It might seem like the darkness is stepping up too. However, it's just this falling away. It's this trying to hold on. Yeah? However, everybody is coming more conscious of this. Yeah? There's juice bars in the malls or in the shopping centers, right? They never used to be there 20 years ago. Only 20 years ago or less, right? So... We're stepping into a new era. We're stepping into a new age. There's something else coming through about this healing, healed, healer. So as I said, I usually pull the over, I check the bottom card, and I, I mentioned it before. It's the new career card, and it's like the waves of change, right? But it feels like it just feels like life purpose is being activated and awakened through a lot of people. And if we're looking at this as a collective consciousness, it's the fact that as one person does it, other people are affected, whether they're conscious of it or not, yeah? And this healing, healed, healer is like this, as the life purpose awakens in one person, it gives other people the permission to, to follow their intuition, of what's being called and asked of them because it's unique and individual to them. As I said, yeah, every physical body is different. Every intuitive body is different in a sense of what we have a role in playing here on this earth. And this healing healed healer is, is awakening. Yeah. In, in everybody, in being more kinder, in, in being more conscious that, what we're putting in our body, what we're doing with our energy, what we're doing with the animals, what we're doing with anything, right? Is that becoming more conscious and how it's affecting us, the people around us, how what we say, think and do affects us, affects people around us, right? And that's on a global scale. Everybody's becoming more conscious. That is the next level, career. So it's new career, but it's next level consciousness. It's, it's your work focus is shifting in a positive, new and successful direction. There's still another message coming through. What is that? I can feel it sitting there. I can feel it sitting there. What is it? Right, so if this is the collective consciousness... Okay, the purple berries are jumping out at me. There's purple berries on this bush here. And this is a purple card. So very much crown chakra, yeah? So the thoughts that we're thinking and feeling and are being activated. There's something else. It really... It, I kind of, I'm like, well, that just seems too obvious for me, <laughs> right? When I look at it, I'm like, well, the collective consciousness, the old consciousness is being shed away like a snake, yeah, is the shedding of the collective consciousness that I'm getting. Everybody's becoming more conscious of not only the food they're eating, but what goes in their body, what it makes you feel like, what, you know, like every, all those aspects that I just spoke about. And this creates for, ah, oh, there we go, whole for the wholefulness, whole fullness healing, yeah? So like I said, when we look at, like you might be even just moving from processed foods to whole foods, right? And it's like moving from medication to natural alternatives or moving from only medication to having, looking at the whole picture. 
it could be you know it's a wholefulness it's like the holistic healing is what's coming in and through and that is what's being activated for the collective consciousness right now it's like instead of the old consciousness which again is very patriarchal but we're talking I don't know if that's the word for it but if we look at it like patriarchal is very it's got to be this way and it's like only this and there's right and wrong and black and white right whereas this wholefulness the wholefulness healing yes yeah? so I'm talking like whole foods but like whole whole full right we are complete we are whole and it's our perception that's shifting around the consciousness that we're broken and need to be fixed. We're shifting into a consciousness that we're already healed. That there's nothing that needs fixing. There's nothing that is broken, right? And we're tapping into, ding, there it is. Thank you, I knew I could feel it. If you look at this card, it's like this light shining, this light shining out, yeah? It's like beaming out and there's big waves, yeah, either side here. So there's big, you know, light beaming out and the waves either side of the card. It's like the shift in consciousness is going from patriarchal and just out there, which is a masculine, right? If you talk about the light field yoga and the chakras and the way that I teach them, it's like this, like all out there, yeah? The outflow of each chakra is masculine because the outflow is is masculine the inflow is feminine yeah and the the <laughs> to have that whole perspective oh, i just got goosebumps yes wow all right <laughs> Whew, that was big i could feel it sitting there got it thank you <laughs> so the patriarchal yeah now the matriarchal is rising it's not that the masculine or the outflow is gonna stop no it's that we're re i say recalibrating we're repairing what it means to have the inflow of energy coming back into our chakras, which is into our body, which is into our consciousness, which is in, full stop, the receiving. We're repairing the receiving because that allows us to look within, that allows people to take responsibility, to step up, to awaken their life purpose, to go, this is enough and do something about it, yeah? And the whole new career is that. Is it, but when we, when we look within and then we have that balance, obviously, of the masculine coming out, that's that beaming, you know, the light coming out. It's like nothing is broken. Nothing needs to be fixed. We are whole. It's the whole full healing, yeah? And I was talking about that in one of my blogs the other day, the fullness of it, yeah? Oh, it's going to get me goosebumps. I knew that it was sitting there. I could feel it sitting there. That always happens. All right, so quick overview of the masculine, of the collective consciousness. Thank you for joining me um, as I do this three card reading, especially for the collective consciousness, which is you, yeah, watching this. So walk away, it's the past card. We're shedding the old skin, just like a snake. We're shedding the old consciousness. Right now, the vegetarian card, simply becoming more conscious of the energy around us, of what we put in our body, of how it affects us, or, or is it this affecting us, or is it that affecting us, or is it that? Is it even affecting us in the first place? Are we, you know, allowing it to affect us? You know, like becoming more conscious, yeah? And this whole full healing, you know, it's like this sort of questioning and becoming more conscious. If you look at it, right, it's a balance. It's like masculine, becoming more conscious and questioning in the center. Look, it's the heart. Look, it's the green one. It's the heart. Of course it is. <laughs> and tuning into the heart chakra, tuning, you know, we're shifting from 3D consciousness to 5D consciousness, which is the heart chakra consciousness. Ding. And then we've got the whole full healing, yeah, the healed card, which I can see it's purple there. If we look at it, there's the chakras there. So shifting from a um, controlling, out of whack, you know, low self-esteem, needing to take control solar plexus, connecting into the heart and then allowing, you know, that um, the crown chakra to be balanced, to allow yourself to receive the wisdom, yeah, big this feels like big, big, um, big crown chakra healing in a way of, you know, like so many people can have closed crown chakras.
because they don't trust the wisdom, they don't trust their thoughts, they don't trust their, you know, um, the the wisdom coming through, the the clear cognizant thoughts that you have, yeah. Um, yeah, 100% accurate, accurate to your actual vibes. Yay, yeah, it's like fully onto it, yeah? And that's allowing, you know, it says new career and, you know, work sh focus shifting, but if we're looking at, at it, as it for this, for the three card reading for the collective, this is like the new consciousness coming in, hence shifting the entire universe, atmosphere, you know, the the direction that the world and the consciousness and the universe is going. Um, you agree? Yeah, it's really huge. Um, so that's pretty amazing. I, I knew I could feel it sitting there and that makes complete sense, especially with what I teach with the light field yoga and for how many years have I been harping on that we, we've got an outflow and we've got an inflow and we need to, most people are closed on the inflow, the inflow, inflow, they're not comfortable receiving. So we need to allow ourselves to receive because when we allow ourselves to receive, that's love, abundance, money, inspiration, ideas, trusting the wisdom, you know, letting it come in rather than walking around like concrete blocks. So thank you very much for joining me um, and listening for the three card reading, especially for the collective. So there we go. Oh no, wrong way. Where are we? <laughs> I put them down the wrong way. There we go. So walk away, vegetarian, heal, whole full healing. I love that one, whole full healing. Love that, whole full healing, whole full <laughs> Whole. We're already whole. We're, we don't need fixing. Nothing is broken. We're just activating what's already inside of us and beaming that out to the world. Yes, you're very welcome. Very welcome. So if you'd like the tools on how to exactly, you know, activate these within you, um, fine tune and activate your crown chakra, your claircognizance, your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, your uh, clear sentence in your heart, how to distinguish whether it's intuition or ego and how to, you know, integrate your ego, um, your shadow aspects, um, mother, fa father, inner family healing, uh, what else is in there, being able to distinguish and integrate um, entities, how to remove them, demons, all the dark stuff which is just flooding the planet at the moment, how to handle that as a light worker, what to do with that and how not to fear it because they are there doing their job to make us more conscious, to wake everybody up and it's knowing that we don't hang out with the dark but we know, need to know what to do with them when they do turn up. So all of that is in Trust Intuition. Now, I've already said it before and Trust Intuition is open now and the doors will close at the end of November. So on the 29th of November, you will never see Trust Intuition at this price again. So if you are not in there and you've thought about it, you want to get in there because this will be the last time um, that doors will be open at this price. So I'll post a link in the comments. If you're watching on Instagram, if you jump on um, the link in my bio and go to work with me, you'll see the online courses there. So thank you very much for joining me live. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe, um, share this if you think that it can help somebody else, um, especially with the collective um, going on. It might help them give them a big overview. And if you've got any questions, send me a message. If you're watching on Facebook, I'm doing it from my page now. I'm going live from my page, so Reality Awareness. You'll have to turn notifications on so that you get notified when I go live, so you can do that if you haven't already. Thank you so much. It's been lovely connecting with you and listening, and thank you for listening too. Lots of love. Namaste.